Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Welcome back. Today we're going to explore different ways to use envelopes in our junk journals. The first thing I need to do is find a page to work on in the first signature. And I picked out this page. Now I buy cards and envelopes in um, thrift stores and Dollar Tree, so I have plenty of blank ones. If you don't have them, you can use envelopes that you've gotten for Christmas or, um, but those are good sources of places to find new envelopes and cards. I look for them all year long. And this one goes really well here, I thought, because of the pink on the paper and the roses match up. Of course, this rose is going to be covered. We're going to actually come along the side here and put this flip inside of that flip and glue them down so it flips like this. Okay. And we're just going to do that right now with some art glitter glue. First thing you do is glue the big flap down. Maybe. Hmm. Let's try this again. There we go. Not used to working with a big sweater on here. See if I can keep it out of the glue. Okay, and then simply line it up with the edge here. Okay, and then we're going to glue this one down. Envelopes make such great pockets. And these ones are pretty much decorated for us. Make sure that's inside your crease so it'll still fold. There, that folds up nicely. And let's um, put a stamp on here. I've got this cardinal bird stamp, I think would be really nice there. I said nice instead of cute. You should be proud of me. I'm gonna use black soot distress oxide to stamp it. And I always stamp on a piece of scratch paper first. One of my lessons learned. If I was smart, I would have stamped this before I glued it down, but it'll be okay. Okay, not too bad. It's got butterflies on this, so we'll leave that there. All right, now for the next signature, also, please like and subscribe if you find value here today. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate everybody's support. For the second signature, we're going to do a flip up from the bottom of the page. And um, I found this green envelope that I thought went beautifully with this bird here. And we're going to just flip it up from the bottom. So it'll be a flip up. Now it does stick off here from the edge, but I, I'm okay with that because 
when the book shut, it still uh, lined up with the with the um, cover of the book. It doesn't stick out further than that, so I'm okay with it lining up there. And we're just going to use our art glitter glue. Line it up with the bottom of the page. Got a little extra on there I need to wipe off. That's okay though. Okay, on this one, I think we'll do a little, um, make sure this closes, yeah. We'll do a little cluster or something on here. Let's see if one of these birds will fit. Oh, these are big birds. It's a hummingbird, but. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to fussy cut this out. I'm sorry for you, but <laughs> having to watch me. But he's just too cute to pass up. Let me uh, tear this page out real quick. Now you know when you're fussy cutting that you should be moving your paper and not your scissors so much. Unless you're cutting a large circle, in which case, move your scissors and not your paper. Okay. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Let's stick him on there. He matches with the bird behind him. And how about a word to go with that? Somewhere. Um, hmm. Right here they are. Daydream. It's kind of big words. Exquisite. Angelic. How about angelic?
and we'll ink this up a little. right there. Okay. Lastly, we're going to make a single pocket from an envelope and glue it to the center of the page. And um, we're going to do this page here. We've got a single pocket that we can, it just fits on this page and it's got a um, card with some birds on it. So that's awesome. Got it in there. And I think we will glue it this way so the envelope just opens up like a normal envelope. But I'm going to um, stencil this first actually. So let's take that back out and get a stencil here. That one's nice. I'm trying so hard not to say the word cute. I don't know if you can tell, I keep stopping and using a different word. I wonder, um, you know what? Let's get the turquoise ink. I think that will look better than the brown. Turquoise ink, where are you? Okay, Broken China. That's the one we'll use. Distressed Oxide. Okay. Just glue this on the back. Fuzzy sweaters and glue are a questionable combination. a little stencil on here maybe. Or these are die cuts of birds. There's a lot of owls in here. These are kind of big. Too big.
These are more than the size we need. Here we go. Okay, so that's the finished project. We've completed three pages today and here they are. We've got the single pocket flip up. Then we've got the bottom pocket flip down. And then we've got the side pocket flip out. favorite one. Oh, that glued a little bit. That's okay. It's a junk journal. Things happen. It's just paper, guys. <laughs> now we can come along and, and tuck some stuff in here and it's going to be great. Okay, everyone, that's all for today. Come visit me at my Etsy shop, which is linked below. I should have three journals added by Friday. Um, actually, I should have one more added. There's three in there right now. I should have one more added by Friday. As always, remember, journaling is about the journey. Take care until next time. Bye, everybody.